they managed to get a victory over Kozil in your league. All right, we're into the game. Um, Mamutritan uh, tossing the ball backwards, but an Akron player read the play and went straight for the ball keeper here. Uh, getting up to the surface. Yeah, Akron now uh, trying to gain possession of the ball, but some juggling around here yeah, between yeah. Malmö and Akron, and Akron now, uh, now back in their own half. And Malmö Triton uh, on the offense, going straight for the basket, um, but not having any player in position actually to score here. But there we already see the players from Malmö trying to take the position underneath the basket, trying to get uh, the defense um, here and stress, uh, stress the defense here but Akaren uh, having a nice ball tricking here pressuring them back into the corner Triton had a match later yesterday evening yes but so Akaren also had a tough match yesterday so I think they are yeah. pretty much on par but we already seen uh, Mango Triton players trying to steal away the basket as often as they can but Akaren having a heavy ball checking uh, going for uh, for pressure here and now they have a really nice scoring opportunity directly at the basket uh, can he push the ball underneath the basket. Can he pass it downwards? Yeah. He's got the ball downwards and it's in. Nice, nice mellow here um, by Akron. Oh. Um, and on quick counter attack here. Was it Berry and Holtz who scored? Yeah, I think so. It might be. It looked like a signature move to be, to be honest. Yes. Very fast break, very fast counter attacks here. And, and it's, it's interesting that the term mellow has gone out into English from Swedish. That's not exactly the language of, uh, <laughs> but no language similarities here. Oh. Now Akaren on the advance again, um, pressuring this Swedish basket. Akaren playing very similar to uh, Badweis here, where they're trying to establish the play uh, in the corner and um, having someone position at the basket at some point, and then try to push in uh, with a strong two to three man uh, push but uh, I think Malmö Triton quite aware of this um, quite offense, uh, offensive posi positioning here by the Malmö Triton defenders uh, going away from the basket as, as soon as they can to help the four checkers uh, in the midfield but now holding uh, penalty called by the referees uh, against Malmö Triton so I come back in possession of the ball you will see they try to take away the one, one side of the basket. I'm not quite sure if they can actually get there with the ball from uh, Malmö. Going to heavy four checking now, trying to keep up the pace of the game, trying to speed up the game. Oh. And now a quick fast break again. One on two. But Akaren already uh, in a good defensive position. You, Johan uh, and again the Mello positioning. And, and again, again the same play here. Same player too. Yeah. So Two veteran players, uh, Johan Fanlund and Benning, Andres Benning, also yes. teamed up just to, to it's pretty much just through. pretty much the same play that they did last time. Uh, yeah. Is the sound, sound missing? I, I don't have any sound on the radio. I don't know what the reason is. Um, yeah, so pretty so much... Can you hear us? Can you hear us in the chat? It's also off for you. Okay. You want to go out and ask? Yeah. I can't hear. Okay. But I think the Jonas Hoff is saying they can hear us. Okay. So it's just the sound for us. It's, it's gone. That's, that's all right. Just, we can't hear, but you can hear us. Yeah. So I'm going to take it off my ear so I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. So, Mama Triton pretty much executing um, with the same play twice here um, against Akaren and now already back in the half of Akaren. Uh, on the push forward, um, only four minutes played so far, and um, Mama Triton seems to be overpowering Akron here quite intensively. Akron really struggling to, to get possession of the ball, um, to push the ball out of their own half, and um, establish some kind of offensive play. We'll see if they can manage to do so later on in the game. Now they tr try to go for a fast break, but Mama Triton already um, on the way back. I think it was a little bit of a holding penalty here, but well, another but yet again, a uh, quick fast break here for uh, Mama Triton. They're always going straight for the basket, having one person um, trying to steal away the basket from the defender, getting to the melee position and um, scoring from underneath. 
over on the right side now. Is he going to push off the wall? Fandler. And, and, and I think it's quite interesting to see that because you know, again we see here one player in the middle position and you know that they are going to take this position um, when playing against Man Madrid and that's their signature move, they're doing it all the time so the defenders have to stick as close to the basket as they can, they're not allowed to get pushed away but they're stealing uh, the... the well it serves a dual purpose if you have a player in the middle position, they're also taking away the, the defender from the basket and they're going to have an offensive position and they're using up all the space yeah. so it's, a, it's, it's a very logical and they're very comfortable but of course there are many players who don't know how to do it or they don't feel comfortable doing it in competition yeah and there's a difference between going in and lying there and getting the pass or being the kind of player who can like swim straight into that position and then do it from the bottom yeah. as a, an alternative to some other attack which is a little unusual but uh, it's also a low risk position because you have the ball underneath but protected by the between your, your body and the bottom of the pool. Yeah. Yeah, I think the ball is uh, it's a bit controversial because as a referee you have to be very careful to watch out if he's clinching uh, between the ring and the goalkeeper yes. or if he's pushing up like he's allowed yes. to do. Too early, yeah. Before so you get the pass, yeah. Yeah. And, um... But I, I have heard that uh, German referees yeah, are stricter about this and they don't yes. like this technique the way the Swedes like it, so... Yeah, because there's a difference if you're pushing upwards, yeah. if you're pushing the goalkeeper upwards, it's totally fine. But if you're uh, clinching with the knee and the elbow and you're clinching the goalkeeper up and you're pushing yourself off the ring, yes. then it's actually foul because you're not allowed to use the ring as an offensive player, as a tool to score a goal. But if you're um, Akaren, you have to watch out for those plays because it's Mount Madrid and Signature Move, they're doing it all the time. Yeah, Malmö Tritron here uh, heavily pressuring Akaren. They are really not, no, basically no chance to get out of their own half right now. And Akaren here uh, under pressure to get the ball, regain possession and actually score in Malmö Tritron's half. Well, Malmö Tritron is very much content with just chugging the ball around, having a circle in between their own players and just wait for the opportunity to score. Like right now, another player in the middle position again. He's pushing oh. the goalkeeper up, but this time an attacker, an attacker read the play um, but, uh, just in time. There, so. But still... No shoulder in the basket, Paul. Yeah. But the and yet again, a next attack on, onto the goalkeeper from Buff. Now there's the call from the referee. Pushing. So a free throw in Thank favor you. of... Thank you. <laughs> See you, goodbye. So yeah, Did you know that Marcos just said goodbye? Uh, yeah. Did you have a chance to talk with them? Or? Uh, Sally, no, I, I barely had talked to They're really young. Just, yeah, they're really, they're, it's, a, it's a really young team there. But it's nice to see those young teams because usually they develop pretty well if they keep playing together and after two to three years, they're one of the top contenders uh, for playing for, oh, for nice bats, so. So yes, Akron now uh, trying to push in on Mamu Tritum's basket. Uh, Mamu Tritum uh, defending with four to five players underwater here. Getting the ball back, getting to a scrum on the surface, um, taking away time from Akron. Akron needs to find some way to outplay the Swedes here, but it seems that Mamu Tritum here uh, here comes. quite a stronger team. And yet again, quick fast break here, uh, straight onto uh, Akron's basket. Um, player twisting and twirling himself um, towards the goalkeeper and now oh nice, pos nice positioning there uh, but the defender just the in time flipped, flipped the ball away and defense is who picked it up I think it's uh, in the scrum there yeah the yeah it's the yeah Mamu is still in possession of the ball oh here and they're going straight for another attack and they're, they're, they're really they're, 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 they're really increasing the pace now on Acker and uh, and it appears quite a bit different game than yesterday because uh, the game versus the Turks, they didn't, uh, they weren't able to uh, push the Turks as hard as uh, they are doing right now with um, Akron. The Turkish guys are probably maybe maybe a little bigger, a little stronger, but uh, there are a few players in Akron who are not large. They're yeah. 
regular There's size. Some older players um, and some small Con, players. Yeah. They're good players, but uh, we're talking about 10 kilos difference. Or even more. <laughs> I had had a chance to interview a couple of guys from Vienna. Yeah. You know them all. Of course. Uh, and I think there is a free throw for um, Mount Matritten here, and there's still a bit of basket yeah. for Macaron. But um, the referees are signaling, uh, apparently there's a timeout called or something, because the regular sitting in to move back to their own half. Do we have sound back? No. 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 Yeah, what did you say? I'm sorry. Um, it looks like there's some kind of timeout or red timeout call because the teams were sent back to their own sides. Okay. But Mamma Triton did steal away the goal from um, Akron and it's a free throw This is a big lead. Uh, yeah. I would say, just my feeling is, if Akron cannot score a goal at yeah. the end of this half and they're going to start the next half two down, two down, two zero, I don't think they'll be able to come back from that. Yeah. But if they score one now, there's hope. Yeah. Uh, but that's only one minute It's left just today. one minute, and I think they will try to keep possession of the ball until the halftime. Um, it would be um, not really smart of um, Mama Triton to just simply give up the ball here. Um, but they might be able to score once oh, more. But was close. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the referee is. Mama Triton here, very Stole smart, always stealing away the basket as soon as they can. Quite often also stealing the um, defen defensive position, but yeah, the call is for Akaran. Now Akaran has 41 seconds left uh, in the game to try to um, get one score and uh, close up and close the gap a little bit. And we'll see if they can uh, provide one heavy push with all of it. Oh no, it's already all stripped away here. And Malmö is in possession again. He chucked it away, which was, a, I think, a good way to buy time. Because yes. it's all the way to the end of the pool, 23 yeah. seconds left. Even it's actually quite, it's quite dangerous here if you're having a scrum um, above your own goal. And yet again, a uh, player... Uh, ooh, th that's... Johansson. Yeah, that's, this might be a penalty call, but I'm not sure if it's called against Malmö Triton for the uh, revenge foul or if it's called against the goalkeeper for... The, the, the primary for pushing. pushing. Now we're at half time. Yeah. You could. Uh, kannst du kurz nachfragen? Wir, auf der, wir hören uns gegenseitig nicht. Hm? Nein, wir gegenseitig beide nicht. Wir hören uns beide gegenseitig nicht. Herzi. Yeah, so it's half time now for Mamma Triton against Akaren. Uh, here at the Champions Cup, uh, game number 63. And Mamma Triton um, quite comfortably in the lead with 2-0. Um, mobile possession for the Swedes. Um, they have uh, better scoring opportunities, stealing the way the basket from Akaren. Akaren seems to a bit lackluster here. They don't seem to have the final push. They, they can't really get out of their own half. The defenders are quite often not in place. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see if um, Akaren can equalize here um, and um, keep the game running or if Mamma uh can keep the possession game up, uh, play in the half of Akaren and score once or, once or more again uh, as they did uh, in, uh, from that position. I think playing a game very late in the evening yesterday that could affect the, the, s the, s the sleep and the evening to some degree, if you're very wired up after a match. Yeah. I mean, it also depends. Mm, right, so it's like we can say some. We have trouble hearing. Okay. Uh, it's a you. Testing, testing, testing. Test, test, We're test, test. the sound here. Checking, eins checking, eins checking. Eins checking. Eins 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 you uh, hear me? Uh, yes. Just say something, please. One, two, three. No, I can't hear you. One, two. No, I can. Yes. Too loud for uh, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like That's it. good. Yeah. Is it only the headphone levels that was off? 
Yeah, it's a never okay. inside. But the, 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 well, the viewers, they could hear all yeah. the time. All right, good. So we <laughs> just had some technical help from Yeah, Vinay, the here from Akron. So Oyvind Melem is telling them, what giving them advice, and... I think if the, the game continues the same way as it did uh, up to this point, um, Malmö will be quite comfortably yes. in the lead here. They were very aggressive. Yes. They, they, had, they had superior forechecking, they were pressuring Akaren. Um, Akaren couldn't really establish a um, possession gain in the, ha in the half of Malmö Tritson. They couldn't place uh, players underneath the basket at the s and at the same time carry the ball to the basket, which is a big problem. So um, for Malmö Tritson here, um, what have done so far? They were seizing every fast break opportunity they had, going straight for the basket uh, with two players or more players um, getting straight into the middle position and scoring very quickly. And now Akaren tried to snatch the ball <coughs> back to another player, but Malmut shoots on, uh, appears to be uh, in possession here. Are they clinching two the same team? It looked like that. It appeared like Malmut Schutzen was um, actually taking their own players. But maybe they watched some exercise or something. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, there's some equipment flying around. Snorkel on the bottom. Called by, called by the tech referee, so. And. I broke up the scrum here. So he'll have to swim out to fix his equipment. But that's okay, there's a, a break here with the. for the three throw. There was an Olympic athlete here yesterday. Really? Yeah, watching. A uh, Norwegian high jumper has been in the Olympics and is the top high jumper in Norway. So I've interviewed her and I'll come out with a story in the next few days. If I ever get back to my computer. <laughs> I don't have Wi-Fi here, but no, there's no time to write at the moment anyway. Yes, so Akaren are trying to break out of the Hona on half again. I think Moment Chitin keep the ball in possession here um, at the surface. But again, call from the referee. And it's free throw for Akaren here now. And we'll see if they can manage to get ahead, get into the side of Moment Chitin. But Moment Chitin here we see very aggressive uh, from defensive players, always pushing out into the open field, helping their um, attackers to try to regain possession of the ball, keeping pressure high um, on current players here, um, not letting them anywhere close to the basket, um, which can be dangerous at times. If, if you actually manage to break through, there's no defender in place. It's a very good scoring opportunity for Akron, but Akron really struggles to even position one player um, at the basket of Malmö Triton. And really no chance here to get the ball into a good scoring position because Norman Tritton is projecting here quite superb. Now, actually pretty good pass but nobody in place to score here. Oh, here it is. And now again, the fast rapid break onto, onto the basket of um, Akaren but nice little punch here onto the ball to, to push it out and uh, stop the pass, pass break. And again, um, Mama Triton immediately going for the basket for the goalkeeper. One player trying to get into the mellow positioning here. Um, another player uh, attacking the goalkeeper from above, trying to put the ball um, underneath uh, the uh, goalkeeper into the scoring position. Tom, I would like to ask you a question. When you're going on a fast break and someone grabs your legs, is it a good idea to throw the ball down or well in front of yourself in order uh, to say... I'd say primarily that should somebody be if you're on fast break, somebody else should be there to receive the ball. So somebody should be um, at least on the same level as you are, so you can hand over the ball, make a quick double pass, and be back at it again. But if you know that there's nobody with you, um, you, you win the free throw, and if they let you go, you it's start... It's a tough decision. If you know you are uh, quite far, uh, far uh, up oh. front, you could do it. But usually people don't let you go um, immediately and you won't have, uh, you will lose uh, one second and others will be catching up, so... You may not get the call from the you referee that you, you expect. Might, you yeah. Might, yeah, you might uh, get advantage in the first place, but then you have free throw. Uh, if, and if you can execute the free throw really fast, it might be still um, 
could be a very opportuni opportunistic situation here, but um, if you can't execute the free throw properly and in time, the, um, every advantage is gone. So I'd rather keep kicking and trying to get as fa fast uh, onto the opponent's half as I can, and trying to have some of my someone of my own team uh, receive the ball and get into the uh, onto the goalkeeper or onto the defense. Yeah, but Akron here um, now trying again to um, get into the half of Malmö Triton. Malmö Triton. Yeah. Very it's hard pressing here. Free throw. As free throw for Akron again. Probably was holding. I didn't see. Yes. Now a, an Akron player actually in an excellent position, but but Akron not executing the free throw as fast as they can. Could, be, could, could have been. Oh, it was time of the match. Yeah. It's a smart move here by Mom Nutrition to call a timeout and to restructure the gameplay. Oh, it's actually called by, by Akron. <laughs> so maybe they want to execute a certain type of strategy and have their strongest six players in the water to equalize here. Number 11, Marius Bunis. He's a very good player. Yeah, he's a national team player. Yes. And he was junior national team coach for a period of time. Yeah, I mean, they have a couple of top players. So they have Mark Hakan Wallerhoff, uh, Christian Schaefer, Mario Bunes. Um, so they have. They're they not, it's they not, have a, it's uh, not a weak some team. Some high yeah. quality players there. Um, they just need to coordinate, uh, coordinate them well enough to be able to score against Mamma Triton. But it appears that they now have um, their strongest six players in the water. And yeah, There's Mario Bunes immediately going for the basket, uh, stealing the basket away. And now we will see if they can actually manage to get close to the basket, but Malmö Triton reading the game very well here, pressuring them immediately, not giving them the space to actually close up, close the distance to the basket. And I think Mario Bunas will be out of breath here. Yes, he's, he's gone. He's, he's gone up. The moment you said that, he ran out of yeah. air. And now Malmö Triton back again at the ball. Oh, it was a good head here. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, and that's the situation. He, he was held, but uh, he tried to push the ball forward to his uh, teammate here to gain uh, at least one, maybe one or two extra meters here. And it worked. And then now there's the, call by, there's the call by the referee. And might actually be um, a two-minute time penalty if it was called a tactical foul here. I'm not sure. Well, I, I don't think yeah, it There's a time penalty. So it was called a tactical foul because he held him without the ball while he was uh, trying to execute a fast break uh, onto a, an, a basket without the defender. So, so if, if it were an open basket and he was about to score, it could even be a penalty shot. Yeah. But in this case... In this it case, it's just a two-minute time penalty, which is uh, tough enough for Akron because it's uh, four minutes, 50 seconds on the clock. Mario Triton um, on the advance again. Uh, huh? Holding. Pushing here from Malmö Triton. And that's quite lucky for Akron here to regain the ball, the ball mm. with a free throw opportunity. But very tough for them. They can't seem to stay in possession of the ball here uh, for longer than a half a minute or so against the hard four checking of Mamma Triton. Mamma Triton uh, seems to be a bit in a better, s uh, the, f the physical conditioning seems to be better than Akaren's. Akaren having less underwater time, Mamma Triton having more players underwater at the same time. Their four checking is uh, more aggressive. They're going straight for the ball. And Akaren really struggling to have more than one player here on the water at the same time. They're always coming to the rescue at the last possible moment and trying to get get some kind of uh, last second pass, but usually those are, are very imprecise and uh, not very effective. Well, a, l <coughs> a shortage of passing alternatives means that the opponent can see where the ball is going to go. Yeah. yeah. That's simple. And yet again, uh, a failed pass here. Picked off. Even though it's a free throw, uh, free throw situation, failed pass here by Akron. But he's managing to get the ball back actually here. Getting a pass downwards. Um, but Was that Christian Schaefer? Or maybe. Yeah. Uh, again, two players from uh, Malmö Triton going straight for the goalkeeper. And yeah, that's what we saw. He was trying to get as much uh, space as possible. And oh. Um, ooh, nice pass. But he actually got the goalkeeper up high, but he... Um, second goalkeeper here um, in place. That was a, a nice attack. Yeah. And now the penalty time is over in a second, and Akron will be six players again. Full strength. If, uh, 
to be in the, in the uh, to have a player in the penalty box, to have a power play against you, yeah. it can be terrible or not so bad, depending on the team and what's going on. Yes. Usually, if you're um, if the teams are equal, then penalty time uh, is very tough on you. Sucks away a lot of especially energy. Especially if you're behind. If you're if it's equal, the game is equal, and you're just going for one one or zero 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 zero. You usually just defend, uh, try to gain possession of the ball, and get into the opponent's half. And maybe some some teams actually had scoring opportunities uh, in uh, <laughs> <when they laughs> <were> <laughs> five players. Uh, uh, Bamberg scored when they were five. But for for Akron here, it's a very tough situation. It's been a very tough situation because they needed two goals. They we're struggling with six players to keep possession of the ball, and uh, with five players, it's really impossible for them. Well, now they're they're yeah. less than there's less than two, two minutes, minutes now on the clock, and Malmo uh, doesn't have to do very much more than uh, keep the ball in their own ranks and trying to tire out the Akron forwards. We see right now they're just circling the ball um, close enough to Akron's basket to be dangerous, but uh, far enough away that they can draw out the forwards. Those games and will as soon as be over. As soon as I can regain possession of the ball, um, two so Malmo attackers are four checking. Yeah. straight for four checking against Akron, uh, locking up the ball. Akron looking for a last hurrah here. Yeah. One, well, I think with one minute left. I think with one minute, minute um, on the clock, it's uh, really impossible for Akron to no. equalize. Maybe they can score once if they uh, get some lucky punch here, but Malmo Triton, Stephen seem very solid here throughout the entire game. Um, anything can happen in 15 seconds, but two goals yeah, can't happen in 15 yep. seconds. Especially if the time is yeah. rolling. Yes, Especially rolling. if the clock is rolling and um, you have to swim back to your own half, regain possession of the ball. Yeah. I mean, it happened, but it, it's... In a situation like that, you want to have the free throw executed as fast as possible. Well, the clock has stopped this time. So is it a penalty shot here? It's got to be either blue timeout because white already used up their timeout. Yeah, timeout blue. Well. Forty seconds more of rest for both teams. And this, this uh, rest that they have now makes a big difference in the way they feel when they get back in the water. They're those going to be fresh. Those timeouts, also if there is like a, um, if it's a really tough game, hi there, uh, if it's a really tough game um, and there is a penalty shot or a, uh, yeah, if there's a penalty shot, there's 45 seconds, quite often actually <laughs> the rest of the team, if it's for you, it's, it's a perfect situation. You're pumped up with, with air afterwards and you have scoring opportunity. So it's double benefit to have a penalty. Yes, but I think Akaran here might actually get a chance to, to have a strong opportunity, but the, the positioning at the ba one player of the basket, the Mamma Triton already snatched the ball away, two forwards um, blocking the ball here, and they are just trying to keep possession now for. The game is game. and the game is pretty much over here. Yeah. Background. It's just a formal. Yeah, it's a, it's a comfort formality now. Easy lead here. Uh, Mama Chitun clearly the stronger team. And they did it by playing with a lot of energy at the beginning of the game. Before Akron could get into it, Akron did step up, but they never really drew equal in this. Aspect of the of yeah, the I think compare, comparing the games we had um, yesterday, the Turks were actually a bit stronger than Akron. They they had the harder pushes onto the basket. Mama, they had a better defense, ac defense actually uh, as well. Uh, Mama Tut not able to uh, take away the basket from the Turks as often. And penalty shootouts was a bit unlucky for um, for, for, the for the Turks. Yeah, because they actually they played well. They actually already won. If he, if he wouldn't have put this mm -hmm. the foot on the step here, uh, they would have won the penalty shootouts. Really? Yeah. It was a, a foot the on the step the that was The goalkeeper put the foot on the step uh, when he 
defended the last penalty and oh. the referees uh, I didn't know that was the reason ruled it, even though there wasn't even a, a, a normal treatment player um, attacking him uh, at this point in time the, the referees you're not allowed to uh, stand on anything or grab the walls uh, the gutters all of that so that's a game yeah well played yeah. here for Malmö Tritum to be fair. Um, they had a really nice game here against Akaren, keeping the ball in their own ranks, having very hard, four checking, very strong on the offense, uh, two quick counter attacks against Akaren, very well executed here by uh, Andreas Bengholzen and Rosalon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, very well played together overall. And um, now we'll have the next game between the Black Mermaids and um, Vienna. Yeah, I'll try and see if I can get an interview of one of the Triton players there at the pool. Yep. And you're going to have to be joined by somebody else now, or maybe two. Lisa's, yeah, coming, Lisa's coming. Here we go, Lisa. Lisa here I'm back for commenting the ladies game with Thomas so the players of Akaren have you read the numbers already of the players but it's not much against oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> I think I need my fifth coffee of the day. So, Black Mermaids, number two, li uh, Kaisa Lilia, three, Linda Carlson, four, Antonia Helm, five, Anne-Sophie Krakow, six, Signe Davidson, nine, Sarah Nilsson, 13, Saga Blomberg, 14, Elta Strand, 15, Victoria Isaacson, 24, Jonna Nordström, 33, Eva Exxon, Ericsson and 83 Erika Lindström and for Vienna, for Vienna we have here numbers we have with the number two Andrea Lindtor number nine Ulrike Janowski uh, number 18 Sabrina Scheuer number 21 Magdalena Wölzel number 29 Sophie Bartenstein number 36 Elisabeth Schwarz number 37 Denise Schmutz number 38 Julia Meninger um, number 44, Daniela Neuenteufel, number 52, Teresa Viha, number 93, Nausicaa Decker, and number 95, Billy Merbas. And yeah. out of this list, of the Viennese list, there is some two or three players that are not here because they got sick. Yeah, just Karen Eisenhut is uh, sadly not here, but the rest and of the team Decker. She's playing. She's playing. Okay, sorry, I haven't playing. seen her. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think it's going to be quite an inter interesting game here. Uh, Black Mermaids. Um, I think uh, pretty much on the same level as Vienna here. Uh, we've seen quite good games from Vienna, the, the last two games here. Um, and we'll see if the Swedes um, can put up some power play or uh, if Vienna can get ahead here. I think it will be a really interesting game 